Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, do, do, let me see. That may sound better. Can you hear me? Is, is, the, is the audio working? It was updating something, but I, I'm not sure uh, if that went through or if it just kind of messed things up. So let me know if, uh, if you can hear me, please. Uh, also, what is with the lipstick? I have been fighting this and fighting this. I don't know what it is today. But um, Zabubu's and Kitty's here. I'm here 365 days of the year to take your 12 political questions uh, out of the chat. Oh, good, you can hear me. Good, good, good. And uh, just put your questions in the chat just before I go on. 10% uh, of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. It's an ongoing thing. We have epic troll slayers who keep us safe. Thank you. If you're watching this on replay, guess what? You don't have to listen to, to me fall apart at the beginning. Um, you can go down in the description box. I have 16 questions today from you guys. It's amazing. Uh, yes, and it is uh, Thursday was actually the fourth anniversary of the Black and Orange channel. So uh, it's just been so crazy. I, 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 it just kind of flew past me. All right. I don't understand what's going on here. It is eluding me. The answer to this conundrum of my lipstick is eluding me. So I'm going to back up a little bit and sorry about this, but I tried, I tried and tried. It's like a high wire act. Can she do it? Will she mess it up? Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, all right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, anyway. Oh, sweetheart, wants to be under the blanket. Okay, hang on. This, if you're wondering, this is Maybelline's Rebel Pink. It has, and of course I label everything. So it's got, uh, it's got some purple in it and the, the mirror, which you guys have seen before. I dropped the last one. Okay, we're almost ready. Kitty, you're going to be a pain until I do this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Wait. All right. I'll put this here. I'll put this here. I'll put that there. Oh, second floor. Kitty beds. First one. This goes back here. One of these days I'll get to all 16 questions. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Almost. Just need key. Just need keys. I just need keys. Cards. I just need cards. Good to go. All right. Um. Doctor Liv. Doctor Nancy Living Co. Creatively says purple gentians. Love the flowers. Is that what those are? I I didn't know. It's lovely. Thank you guys. All right, let's do the thing. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and for for all the all the parents who have stood up for to help kids for all of the for for all the father figures. So. Ken, I am trying. I am. Anyway, and happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth, uh, it is today. I thought it, for some reason I was thinking it was tomorrow. Thank you, Dave. Um, I was, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, 
I thought it was yesterday for some reason, but today is Juneteenth, and it is the day that the Union soldiers went through Galveston, Texas, uh, announcing that slavery was no more. If that isn't a great day, I mean, although at the same time, it's just, it's, it is on humanity's eternal shame that that was happening in the first place. But it was over here in the US and that, that is amazing. So, oh, so it's a good day. And I'm very fortunate that I, I still have my father. So I already gave him this present this morning and his card and everything. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Darren says, I autumn, I have Swiss heritage. I never wear a watch. <laughs> Is it just ingrained into you? Uh, if, if there's somebody who should lighten up, I seriously, let's let's not let's just let's just be pleasant. Please, everybody. We're all doing the best we can. Every one of us is doing the best we can. Okay, so Lily says the universe has its own timing. Yes. Kevin says, unfortunately, many were not told for years. Yeah. So, all right. And there are two hearings coming up this week, Tuesday and Thursday, I believe. The one I'll be coming on for the one on, I want to say I'm coming on for the one on Tuesday at 11:30 and then the one on Thursday at 1:30 something like that. So I will um, I'll, I'll let you know the on the community page the and in social media on Sundays there's a post that has the, the live streams for the week and if there are any changes or any adjustments uh, I just take that down and put up a new one with that has the correct it has to what time I'm coming on because things are a little discombobulated. And uh, thank you, Amora. Thank you, Harvey. Eileen, breathe in, breathe out, repeat. Yes. All right. So at eight minutes in, we're going to start with Kathy Delisle's question. I'm going to see if I can get through all 16 questions. Will the rivalry between Death Santis and the Orange Menace divide the GOP vote? We can hope. Marie Sutton says, good morning, everyone. I'll be lurking with my eyes closed as I got up too early. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. Thank you. Whew. So... Oh, Jeff says, my whole street is closed for the Juneteenth celebration. Awesome. Beth Santis and Trump. Trump really despises him. Really despises Death Santis. DeSantis? Man. Rivalry between Trump and DeSantis. Is it Will it split the GOP? Oh, Trump, you are going down. I wish I could say the same for DeSantis, but ooh, Trump, you, you're, yeah, yeah, he's, Trump is like a non entity coming up. Lovers. They're both far right. You'd think they'd get along, but oh, nay, nay. It's the good thing about narcissists. They don't work well with others. Authoritarians by nature don't work well with others. Thank heavens. Thank heavens for that and stupid criminals. Hermit. Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Moon. Nah. World. It's not going to be an issue. Trump's got some big problems ahead of him. And there's still plenty of Democrats, plenty of Republicans who are looking for a vile leader 
take me to the most vile leader you've got. But Trump, he's got big problems ahead of him. Yeah, it just, it just, it's like he just falls off a, a, a metaphorical cliff. So, uh, da, 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 da. DeSantis is, is fighting to get more and more recognition, get higher and higher and higher. Trump is, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. But splitting, yeah, Trump isn't going to be an issue. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys like the flowers. All right. Eileen had a question at 11. Did Trump issue a blanket pardon that is has been kept hidden? Or actually, if so, will they work? So did Trump issue, should be plural, blanket pardons, one or more, that have been kept hidden? If so, will they work? Let's see. Blanket pardons. For what? But that's the thing. I mean, the reason that pardons usually take so long, um, one, because generally they, they try to, you have to, um, my understanding is generally for a pardon, you have to have served five years of your sentence, or I've, I'm sure there are many, many exceptions. Um, but, um, Did Trump issue a blanket pardon? Morris says, don't pardons have to have, do specifically name a crime that's already been adjudicated? Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I'm, um, it's pardons for what? How could it, how could, it's like, what, you've, you've got a pardon for anything wrong you've ever done any, any time? I, I don't know that that could stand up in court. So, did the orange menace, because we know Jared was working on the pardons. Please. Ten of swords. <laughs> For, for, for think they were they they needed it. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, World, Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands. There's a lot of people wanted them. Some people were uh, ponying up. And Trump's enough of a, a bully who, who's been given some power, which made him even more corrupt. But it didn't work. He, um, there were a lot of people that were looking at pardons that may have gotten some, but at the end of the day, for for Trump's January 6th mess, they didn't succeed. And Trump doesn't reward people who it's like, oh, well, you tried. That's not, uh, this man is a narcissist. You are supposed to lay down on your swords. You are all supposed to, to die for the greatness of the king. He's angry at these people that they didn't succeed. Tisrat says, pardons aren't Burger King coupons last I checked. Yeah. Betty Harper said, I'd like to have one of those and I've never done anything that I know of. All right, will any January 6th related pardons stick? Anything related to the insurrection that they were that they were going for? They were certainly handing them out. Some serious crimes. Mm -mm -mm. 
no, that does not feel, that does not feel um, like, aha, I did the wrong thing, but I was in the Trump world and I have this pardon, therefore I'm free. Uh, that's not what that feels like. It's like, no, we're going to, we're going to take this to court. And yeah. Eileen says, remember in Trump's mind, he could pardon himself. True. Pamela Bryant. Oh, nay, nay. No, no. So. Three more cards on the pardon situation. Have a great day, Disrat. Star. Oh, he can do anything. To Trump. Talking about himself in the third person. Seven of Wands, Magician. I can do anything I want. He certainly gave out a lot of pardons. But these feel, this whole energy feels very small. Very small. I just, I don't pick up on, I don't pick up on a lot. Laurel Sorensen is saying, I will be stunned if they didn't pay for pardons. I think that's probably probably more the worry. I'm, I'm not getting big cards of big energy of, yeah. Tina White says, if pardons are issued with a quid pro quo in regards to crimes committed, they can be overturned. Exactly. And I think that's for what ones were put out because Trump pardoned his friends like stone and, and what have you. But the the people who were supposed to really do the insurrection for him, they failed. Why would he reward them? I don't know. I don't know. Eileen says, I know a number of people who are worried there are pardons hidden somewhere. It will it will boomerang into the courts. It'll be like, pardon it. It'll be like someone who's wearing one of those harnesses in for effects in sci-fi movies, where suddenly they just get yanked backwards. Be like, oh, I have a pardon. Yank <laughs> into court. Yeah. So, okay. Eight. 18 minutes in, let's go on to, oh boy. A little worry, a little possible worry. Dem Demo uh, democracy was able to survive after Trumpist held election results hostage in New Mexico, in a New Mexico County. There's a link in the description. Basically, in this county in New Mexico, the far right uh, person there said, no. We don't think these primary results are good. So we're not doing it. Luckily, it didn't work. The court stepped in and said, sit down. Uh, so, but is this what we're looking, going to see more of? Because around 2020, in the 2022 election, the midterms, but especially 2024, I just get, energy of we're going to be okay we're going to get through it but i think there's going to be all of this i keep picking up an energy of everything being questioned this the red state saying no so that's what happened in new mexico and it failed and ultimately it will fail because we are a democracy even, even with an electoral college. But um, is that what's coming up? More of officials in red state saying, oh, I know all these people voted, but I don't like it. Devin Murphy said, yes, yes, they did have, they had the Dominion voting machines. And so he said, no, they're, they're not right. Grief. Temperance. We're going to be okay. We are. 
You're going to be okay. See? Now, friends. We're not going to lose our democracy. Keep that in mind, please. Pamela Bryant says the next 24 months are going to be rough waters. Democracy will have a life vest, though. You Exactly. I could not have put that better myself. King of Pentacles. Listen to Pamela. Pamela is wise. King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. High Priestess. Knight of Cups. Knight of Swords. Oh, I feel like a, a, a B-movie villain seeing all of these people voting out voting. Um, higher wisdom of, no, we're really going to do this, but this is so much, this is so much stronger of the courts and Democrats, basically people who believe in democracy standing up and it getting so much better, so much better. So it's just a matter of, of, of time, but there are going to be idiots. Just brace yourself now. Be like, oh, that idiot's saying you won't certify a primary. Oh, that idiot says he's over there. He says he's not going to accept the election results. Oh, that idiot over there, they're just going to do it. And they're, it's not going to work. Joanne Carson says, listening to the talking heads this morning, it seems that Republicans think Trump should not have to be prosecuted for anything because he's an ex-president. Bullpucky. Yeah. True, Tish L. There are good days ahead. Yes, there are. Uh, do, do, 22 and a bit. Kim Hawkins has a very good question. 2215. Well, 20. Why is Donald Trump not locked up? I think this is an excellent question. I, 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 I often ponder that myself. Why is Donald Trump not locked up? Narcissistic con men, grifter. Nine of Pentacles. So far, sitting pretty. On over the years, part of the issue has just been his ability to suck in enough money from elsewhere, possibly Russia. Uh, that he was able to threaten everybody uh, with lawsuits and what have you, and making everybody sign NDAs and all this kind of this kind of garbage, because there comes a point which it's just exhausting. It just it is exhausting to fight with people like this, where it's like you know what, I have a life, and the best thing that's going to happen here is you know what whatever, we're done here. And I'm going to go on and I'm going to enjoy my life. And you're still going to be a miserable sack of scum. So, okay. Ace of Wands, he's a bully. He just bludgeons you. Hanged man. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. Seven of seven of wands of uh, what I just said, people are tired. He's he's been able to turn a lot of things around with campaign donations, with um, 
promises and and whatever else, but a whole lot of bullying. I mean, a whole lot of bullying. But he's he's finally. It's like he's been stepping, being pushed back toward that metaphorical cliff edge I mentioned earlier, and it's it's like that his heel is, it's it's you know cracking that edge of the. Um, that bit of soil on the edge of the cliff right before you you would go too far. So Alexander Bellino says the man will never know a true moment of happiness the rest of his life. That is absolutely right. And that is absolutely true. Dave says bullies are slow and clumsy. Yes. Kathy Delisle said you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Blessings be upon you. And you. So it's just going to continue. There's an, another question here. In fact, the next question. Well, actually, that's let's ask the next question. Twenty six fifteen. Six fifteen. Is the reason why no reader sees uh, Trump going? Is there is. I think it's, is there a, is there a reason? Is, is there a reason why no reader sees Trump going to prison? Is it because he makes a deal? Well, the thing about a deal is what would he, what kind of deal? I mean, it's not like he can turn on someone higher up. He's done everything he possibly could to make sure there is no one higher up. So, Trump's, Trump's been, first of all, let's just check in. Um, we, we check back. And then let the cards fall where they may. Will Trump be, will Donald Trump Sr. be sent to, will be indicted, convicted, and sent to prison? Evelyn Hartman says Trump has damage from COVID in his lungs really badly. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Kim. Insult to injury. That's just him. <laughs> For him, that's a sky is blue, water is wet. Sun. Two of cups, world. Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups. It's on the defensive. Or is that health related? His old way of, of they've, they've brought up so much information, they brought to light so much information and so many of his terrible links that um, and actions that his old way of living is done. And he's absolutely on the defensive, but I wonder if that's medical care. See, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my energy out of this other than trying to get a scent, like, like not trying to influence, like, because I, you know, I mean, I want the man to to go to trial. I want, him, I want there to be a fair trial with evidence, an actually fair trial with evidence. Oh, here we go. Justice. Actual, real justice. And if found guilty, I want him to be sentenced. Harper, you've got a good question. What would prison actually look like for a former president of the United States? <clears throat> Some serious um, isolation, I would think, or its own, probably its own wing. He's not going into gen pop, that's for certain. Even though apparently there are quite a few people in prison who are big fans.
Harpy says, I think readers oh, said Trump may end his days in a medical or mental institution. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. Again, sitting pretty. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. It's the money that really gets him. See, I would have thought it would be election interference, but it's, it's the money that gets him legally. There's a lot of, of worry here. This is him. He's going to be convicted. Oh, wow. He's going to be convicted. He's going to be convicted of crimes. But there's, there's some kind of, there's something mitigating. There's some mitigating thing here. So either there is a special area or a part of a hospital or some, some charity. But I absolutely just got he's going to be convicted. I'll take it. I'll take that. Will he be... Well, here's the other thing. Would they even bother... Um, would they even... Yeah, or yeah, Gary Atkins, a $250 million ripoff. I mean, if that isn't mail fraud, I don't know what is. My other concern... Um, house arrest. That might be it. That may be why we don't see him going to prison because he's under house arrest. Is that what's gonna happen here? <laughs> Michelle Boone just had a whole bunch of uh, champagne emojis. Okay, this, I okay, okay this, Time out. Hang on. Break. Thirty-three. Thirty-three minutes in. Uh, overloaded Celtic. Is Trump? going to be convicted of crimes so much easier to die for shorter nails and only be under house arrest and what would house arrest look like if he can go out and golf I would be if house arrest means he's at Mar-a-Lago I would be Joanne says, as long as he stopped from running for president, he stopped from running for president and running his mouth, I would be happy. I think that's why I need to do an overloaded Celtic here. I think we are, this feels, <laughs> Pam O'Brien says, you just left 45 feet of skid marks. Yes, 45. <clears throat> Sherlock Holmes says that would be no punishment at all, and that's my worry. Janelle Espinosa says he would be broke. Um, you would hope so, but he also has cult members. Hello, Aiden. Huh. Is that why we've never seen him going to prison? It's because of house arrest. All right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt this down. <laughs> Trump 
Trump, will you be under, will you be convicted and be under house arrest? And what would that look like if so? Alexandra, I can, it's hard to read at this angle. I know I'm picking up more because it's getting closer. Okay. Evidence. Lots and lots and lots of evidence. Lots of evidence of lots of crimes. In the past, well, we, we've got, you know, everyone from Coward Bragg who still is on my list of least favorite people, let's put it nicely. Um, yeah, they've been through a lot. Impeached twice, but still made it through. Center the reading. Oh, he is gonna lose money. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm definitely getting mail fraud for the two, 250 million. Now, who would bring that? Is that DOJ? All right, hanging above this, it's a thief and the star. Oh, he is, he is the star thief. He is, he is America's greatest thief. That, that's, I think you could make an argument for that. I'm sure there are exceptions, but yeah, that's, wow, yeah. Okay, base of the reading, permit, page of swords, the bully, House arrest. Fully under house arrest. Home environment. That would be house arrest. Holly and Francis, mail fraud is federal. Well, mm -hmm. that's home environment. That's bad for him. Hopes and fears. He's desperately trying to break in as much money as he can, which is actually going to boom. That's that's going to blow up in his face, metaphorically. That will be held. That could that that could very well be held against him. What other people see. Our country is strong. Oh, I like this. Our country is strong. Oh, I like this one. The challenge. I think we could stand up to the challenge. This is this is the people who are willing to stand up so that this does not happen again. All right. Near future one, near future two. Near future one, my priestess, near future two, page of cups. This is the committee revealing more secrets. with the organized, because this, these are the underestimated Democrats. This is secrets and higher wisdom. Yep. All right, final outcome, one, two, and three. Will, uh, Deborah Murphy says an ankle bracelet only goes so far. Mm -hmm. Um. Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That could that could get past all of the the worries that some people are having about, well, if you put a, this president in, try to put him in jail, they'll be you make a martyr out of him and what have you but this is aggressive law enforcement this is biden's not going to help him if you're expecting Biden, you think even thinking for a second biden's going to give him a pardon not going to happen and then trump is just left staring looking out a window well while the party and everything moves on without him i think this is what happens this feels really strong. 
see if I can get any more information. So I will ask specifically, Donald Trump's future. Where are we? We're at 40, 30. 40, 40, 30. Donald Trump's future. Oh, it's too long. All right, hang on. There, now it'll save. Come on, save. 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 All right, I'll shuffle while it's thinking. All right, so now we're at really forty one thirty now. Sorry, computer was being slow. All right, Donald Trump's future. Okay, Kevin, and I like I, your comments. You always you always contribute nicely to the to the uh, chat. Okay. Donald Trump's future. is in the hands of democratic women and women like Cheney who are fighting for democracy. That's Trump's future right there. Card for the reading. In the past, Trump's future. Oh, he just, he'd stir the pot every chance he got. He liked watching the violence. He liked people suffering or fighting in front of him. Page of Cups. Very underestimated Democrats, but also Democrats, you know, there's only so much Democrats could do when Republicans had both houses of Congress, but I mean, don't oh, underestimate them now. Hanging over Trump's future. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodbye. Goodbye, Trump. Grift Co. Trump Org. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lack of funds. Death of the business. Bye-bye. The ground he's standing on. He should have tempered what he was communicating, but that didn't happen. Yeah. All right, home environments. Uh, well, we know Biden's living rent-free in his head. Trump spends more time thinking about Biden than Biden spends thinking about Trump. I can promise you that. Mm -hmm. All right, hopes and fears. Rally, rally more people to come to his rallies. Go rally, 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 get more money and get more enthusiasm going. What other people see, you're done. You're done. Done. No, that was not a literal death. And Laurel, we were uh, around here. I uh, no, we're not hoping for death for, for Trump at all. Not one bit. Well, uh, around here, this is we want him indicted. He want him to go to trial. We want him to be convicted on evidence. And we want him to pay the consequences for that. But, all right, the challenge 
he's oh, well, oh my gosh he has raised so much money this feels like being buried under can you imagine how much 250 million dollars is can you imagine seeing it in a room or a hangar 250 million dollars chat watchworth says i want him to lose all of his money well I, uh that's what's hanging over his head. All right, near future one, near future two. Near future one, truth, more of the truth. Near future two, the burden. This has to do with the hearings and, and a lot of, it's not just the hearings. It's it's from, it's like from other places he, uh, getting heartburn from all of the, the stuff being brought up that he did wrong. Final outcome, one, two, and three. Final outcome, one, ace of wands. Final outcome, two, page of swords. Final outcome, three, queen of pentacles. Very weak. This is just bullying. And this is trying to protect the princess to some extent. But she's got the reason she's got money here is is Jared. Him just the, the, the him just ranting and raving. That's your future. Really, that's all you got. A page and an ace. After you've been president of the United States, supposedly a billionaire, he was never a billionaire. And um, really, all right, <laughs> Rhonda Cox, sad. Johnson says, I bet Trump has many offshore accounts. His family has where his family has money stashed. Maybe. They've had to pull a lot of money out of those accounts just to keep the business afloat. Trump sporting an ankle bracelet. That's that's a that's a thought. Forty-eight, sorry, forty-eight. Thirty. The JT ankle bracelet. Forty-eight, forty-five. All right. Nice little ankle bracelet for for Trump. Tip for Trump. For Trump. Oh, different people working together, sharing uh, evidence. Mm -hmm. Thief. Far right victory. Four of swords. Page of swords. Hanged man. He's going to try to, whatever happens, he's going to try to keep appealing it and appealing it. But ultimately, you've got a bully. hanging by his ankle. This is this feels pretty this this is like a real possibility. There. This feels like a real possibility.
Deba Kel says, I keep waiting for the family to bolt to Dubai or something. I don't get that, though. Maybe the, maybe the Kushners or something. You know how every time things would get bad in Washington, D.C., it was suddenly like, vacation! Ankle bracelet. Trump ankle bracelet. I like it. I like it. Um, we'll we'll read more on that in in, in future on, in future days. Betty Harper, I'm sorry, not sorry. This was fun. It's so wonderful to just even think of him actually being held accountable. Lily says, "Amazing." All right. So at fifty fifty one thirty. Deba, Debbie, Debbie Wynette had a question. Will the January 6th investigation finish this year? Will the January 6th hearings make any change, the results, will they make any changes? All right, well, yes, I believe, well, that's the goal, yeah. The January 6th committee, their work, yes. Although I don't believe their final report is supposed to come out until sometime next year. Will the hearings, will this lead to any changes with their results? Because the whole point of this committee is supposed to be to put things in place so these kind of things can never happen again. Eh, you have to get it past the Republicans. They can make recommendations, but if they can't get it through the Senate, I think it's really old. I mean, you know me. I'm a political. I, I'm I like you. I'm a I'm a new age political junkie, just like the next person. But this whole nothing happens because of the Senate gets really old. Oh, Snow Wolf said something and and is being congratulated for it. What what did you say? What, what, what? I like to give you guys credit because you add so much. Snow Wolf, I think music from a black spiritual church needs to play for 45, 24 hours a day. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Will they finish this year? Yep. Ending. Ending. Recommendations, practical recommendations, lots of them. They have the recommendations. Will that actually happen? Ace of Wands, Hermit. They'll have scapegoats, lovers. They'll have scapegoats, but. It's the Senate. The Senate's going to be the problem. But there are um, things that they do recommend can be put in place later. Debbie Winnett says, personally, I think the Republicans are going, going, oh, going down, I think you mean. I don't know. Down. Yes. Oh, thank you for the question, Debbie. Thank you. They're gonna have lots of recommendations. Will any of them pass? King of Swords. Depends on prosecuted, pro who gets prosecuted. 10 of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, that's a group of Republicans, Queen of Cups. Uh, I keep getting Democrats doing well in the midterms and and doing well in 2024 for what it's worth that's what i get so we have to voting blue as you guys are just saying in the chat that's really where we need to to go in a big way okie doke 
5530. Rhonda Cox had a question. 5530. I asked a while ago if Orange was the worst U.S. president. You said no. Yes, that was scary. If not, will it be Death Santis? Will Ron DeSantis be the worst United States president ever? Not would be, but will he be the worst U.S. president ever? He's vicious. He is just vicious. I don't think he's going to become president because he's vicious. Harvey, that's two questions. Emperor Fool, High Priestess, Women Voting. Women voting who have had enough. Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Women who have their own jobs, who do not need to vote the way their husbands are voting, who don't need to, it's, it's, we're moving on, it's 21st century. Women have the power to vote on their own and, and, and um, demand bodily autonomy. So no, it's not going to be just saying, as a matter of fact, I'm getting, see ya, jerk, women standing up, had enough. Nationally, that's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. I'm turning into a pretty good day. <laughs> Speaking of female politicians, too, 58 minutes in, JJ had a question. Will we ever see a Porter Harris or Harris Porter ticket within the next two election cycles? Porter Harris, Harris Porter. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Lovers, No, Now I'm sad. Um, no, because women having a woman president and a woman vice president and have one of them not be white. It's just sad. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Porter would be great. But sexism and racism doesn't matter what happened for January 6th. Just can't can't live with it. Oh boy. All right. All right. So at okay, Eileen had a question at one hour. Is there something other than a sense of duty keeping Kavanaugh or any of the other judges from resigning from the Supreme Court? Okay, Eileen, really? Kavanaugh with a sense of duty? Bless. Really? Are they kept there by outside forces saying you stay? 
No, they are so happy. They're, they're, they are, they are, they are pigs in the muck. They are just as happy as could be. I'll, I'll pull some cards on it, but oh, no, they are. It's like forces keeping some of these people there. No, and if Kavanaugh had not been, you know, Trump did say the quiet part out loud that if Trump hadn't nominated him to be in the Supreme Court, he wouldn't have been able to get a a job in a law office. Trump blurts out the reality. As long as it hurts somebody else, he'll, he'll blurt out reality any, any chance he gets. Six of Wands, Temperance. We're just fighting to try to... Well, actually, you know what this is? This is a lie. I'm sorry. This Temperance, this is a lie. Sorry, I'm getting a little heated. These are far-right idiots who are trying to pass the most draconian laws, take away rights. They are awful people, and they are going to be—they're going to have blood on their hands. No, no, no! But we're just—we're just. You are awful and a waste of space, is what you are. Monique Ospie is saying, Senator Whitehouse has requested the FBI do a real investigation on Kavanaugh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to do something about this because I need to turn this down to one up there. Okay, because I, I can't even see my own features. There we go. It's better. All right, so at 102.30? Yes, 102.30. Oh, no, that was 10. Well, goodness gracious. I think it was one of one hour 30. And then Sandy Miller and Eileen were both asking how many justices are beholden to their sponsors. So 103. Are their justices beholden to their sponsors? I agree, Joanne. Kavanaugh is disgusting. Ooh. Itch right in the middle of my back. Possibly where someone might be knifed in the back. How many justices are beholden to their sponsors? Fruits of labor. Seven of cups. Seven of wands. Five of cups. It's completely. Apparently it costs millions of dollars to get somebody on the Supreme Court. I, I still to this day, I can't quite figure out how does it take millions of dollars? Really? Whose pockets does that go into? But that's a situation, and they are completely they are they are completely beholden to the people who got them there. But at the same time, they have they're there for life. They are um, they don't have to do anything. Linda Johnson says, five of them. Pat Wadsworth says, bought and sold, justice for sale. I don't even think they need to. They just needed to find crackpots. And they did. And they took these crackpots and they got them on the Supreme Court. They just found extremists and said, you really believe that? Really, really? That extremist garbage that really is going to hurt people? Hallelujah. Let's get you on the Supreme Court. Yeah. 105.30. Uh, DeJoy. 
30. Will Louis DeJoy be ousted from the U.S. Post Postal Service before November when mail-in votes would be coming in? Why is he still here? Has anybody heard why? Why, oh why, is DeJoy still in place? I thought the whole point was Biden finally got his people through. De joy, who is not a de joy. He is he is vicious and malicious, not de lovely or delicious. Roxana Lee. The de joy, the never ending story. I didn't like that song, but that's just me. De joy. Blah. Julia, so they're just place setters for, to further their causes. Absolutely. 100%. That's what the Federalist Society is all about. Four of Cups. Yeah, he's not listening to anybody. The movie was cute at the time, but I, that song, boys, it's just me, just me. Uh, six of Swords. Six of... Six of Wands, Magician. Janelle says a post office panel have made rule changes that render him moot. He will be out by the end of the year as per Hal Sparks. Please, I hope so. Eight of me, what was that? Sorry. Eight of Wands, Empress. Traveling with air, swords are air signs, so this would be traveling with mail, but this far right victory and joy, and he has tried more stuff. Um, more of his nastiness against the American people. Kathy Delas says, may he sink in the swamp of despair? I was thinking, I mean, he should just go home to the bog of eternal stench. <laughs> yes, the man in charge of the mail is a little bit corrupt and awful. Oh, what was that, FBI? Eileen says DeJoy is under FBI investigation for campaign fundraising at an ex-company. I thought that was, that's been going on for years, hasn't it? Sun. Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Tower. We will get rid of him. This, so often this, is, this card is, uh, for me, in all these readings I do, it is things coming to light. It can, for some reason, be white supremacy, which drives me nuts. But this actually feels like the, the motto of the post office, neither rain nor sleet nor dead of night will keep me from my appointed rounds or whatever. This is even the heat, the sun, the, uh, and thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, employees of the post office. Thank you. Uh, you're doing good work. You're out there really in the weather, in the piles of, of mail, dealing with customers. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Thank you. But this is getting things back. This is lovely. And then this is the old way. This feels like the post office will be better than it's ever been. Just give it, give it a little time. That's what this feels like. Bye to joy. 
Okay, I'd say we had another good reading today. Page of Swords. Alexandra Bellino says, I'm always grateful for my post peeps. All right, Eight of Pentacles, Star, Three of Swords. He keeps trying, but no, he's, he's, it's like he's, he's got all this nastiness in the background and his bullying and his, all of this stuff, but it's, hold, hold on to hope here because they're good, good things coming. Good. Yes, Sandy Miller, there are some awesome readings today. I agree. Thank you. Okay. At 112, question 12. Desert Dawn was asking. Given climate issues, will big oil and gas companies be made to actually get behind reversing climate change? Gosh, I hope so. I was reading articles this morning about, ugh. Thank you, Erica. Thank you for being here. Um, I was reading this morning about the climate change and how some scientists are just starting to refer to summer as danger season. Bismo, having a lot of body aches and pain today. Oh, I'm sorry. These positive readings make me feel better. Good. Good. I'll make this 112. No, I'll make it 113. Because apparently what we're dealing with right now is La Nina, not El Nino, it's La Nina, which is the um, water in the Pacific being colder, I believe, than normal. When it's too warm, we get a whole different group of problems. Come on, people. We have to do something. This is bad, and it's getting worse. Ten of Swords. Climate change. Look how dark those clouds are. And look at the orange in the distance and the color of that water, and yeah. Yeek. Hello, Petrus. All right. Three of Wands. Five of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. It's going to be grassroots. It's grassroots that's going to, to, to lead to some real changes. It's... Big oil companies, no. Nope. You would think that they would start, they would want to switch over. They'd want to be in the forefront of, of climate change stuff so that then they could benefit in the future because there's only so much oil. There's only so much natural gas. There's only so much, only so much, only so much. But nope. Because they, they're generally publicly traded companies uh -huh. and um, they have to meet, um, they have to meet quarterly uh, income levels by hook or by crook.
Whereas if they were privately held companies, they could say, okay, I'm going to, we're going to do this to make money, but we're also going to put more money into this over here. Mm -mm. It's not what Wall Street wants. Exactly, Pam and Brian. There's only so much earth. Kelly says oil companies are making big bank. Oh, yeah. Heather Formosa is saying maybe they should st start by eliminating fracking so humans have drinking water. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so at 1.16.30... There seems to be a shift of Hispanic voters to the GOP that we're that we are witnessing more this election cycle than in years past. Will Democrats be able to get that vote back? And there's a link to the Washington, well, the Wall Street Journal article. Speaking of Wall Street, the Wall Street Journal article is in the description. Um, Hispanic voters moving towards GOP. And we're just looking at it as a block, of course. There, Deba Kel says they're um, they they're Catholic. They they will tend to to lean that way, in general. In general. of cups um well let's see here chariot nine of cups world four of swords eight of swords Oh, it has to do with traditionalism. A traditional depends, like, of course, you can't say it's like all white people voted for Trump. No, they didn't. You can't say all Hispanics are moving to the right. No, they're not. Um, it depends. It depends where they're from, how long they've been here, what kind of culture they surround themselves with while they're here. It's complicated. Um, what's going to make the difference, what will bring them back, is what's about to happen to women. Monique Osby says socialism is their fear, right? Because they they think they think of they've been told the authoritarianism they were they were potentially fleeing was socialism when it wasn't authoritarianism whole different thing um chanel says it's just miami no no not necessarily my my uh one of my brother-in-laws his his family his parents um came from cuba um and his father was a heart surgeon and families they had you know he's one of five kids Family's Catholic, and they're all Republicans, as far as I know. So it just depends. Just depends. But what's I I I am yeah. We're waiting for what the Supreme Court's going to do to throw stuff back to states. that's going to make a difference. When women suddenly have no recourses, that will, in the, in the past, it, Republicans might be thinking, oh, great, we'll get them, we'll get them back. They always, there was always a big push for 
Democrats and, and that's changing. Oh, there's a big change. This is, an, this is a big ending, highest major arcana. But the change comes from women, especially women of a childbearing age, but women in general. So <laughs> Republicans don't, don't count your votes. Don't count your votes just yet. Twenty-one and a bit. I only have three questions left. That's sixteen. Is that sixteen plus the ones I added? Yes. One twenty-one thirty. Let's see here. One twenty-one thirty. Was Lauren? Bobert put in place to be directed to do certain things and to act as a distraction while others did things behind the scenes. Are you, Eileen, are you asking about January 6th? Are you talking about in general? Lauren Bobert put in place to be a distraction, is what I'll, I'll guess. She was happy to get the money. Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Swords. She she was put there because she's loud. Because she has extreme views that she's willing to just hammer on. She don't forget, never forget. Bobert is the one who heckled Joe Biden during the State of the Union address when he was talking about his dead. Son. No, she's there because she's obnoxious. Pamela Bryant says she has her own air horn. Yeah. Al Menzi says that Bobert's district is huge, rural, and Republican. And... There's some there's some problems with that. Some problems with her district. Her and her district. There's some there's some issues back there. I wonder if some people are going to be taking the uh, allegations uh, about her seriously or not. I don't know. But there's some. Yeah, Bobert, Bobert, Green, and um, Jim Jordan. They're human air horns. They just are. You try to have a conversation with them and it's just. Uh. All right, Kelly. Um, I don't know any specifics on this. I'm just going to just see what the cards say. 124.30. Texas may try to. Uh, quash school tragedy evidence through some loophole law they have. Will they succeed? Jeez. Uh, Dr. Nancy Living Gobert comes from money. Not to the best of my knowledge. Uh, best of my knowledge, au contraire. She was... Um, had a, a very rough life, but anyway. Um, but I could be wrong. That's my understanding. Texas. Oh, I don't like this energy. Don't like it. Don't like. Don't like. Government. Uh, 
Tower, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Uh, will they be able to quash uh, evidence? This was the shooting. Bless. Bless. Um, fruits of Labor, possibly, but ultimately, there's plenty that will come out. There's there's plenty that will come out. So I'm not getting, I'm not getting the people involved in this uh, just skating through. Eileen says, so they were put in place to be air horns for the causes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. World, it's not like it's not like the Green Goblins out there. You know, she's not on any committees. She hasn't been a part of any legislation legislation that had that pos even remotely got through they're not there for for their legislative prowess or ability to get things done for their constituents four of swords queen of cups temperance um the mental image I'm getting is something on a hook, it's kind of squirming to get away. Um, and since this is not real, it's just a metaphor, I don't have to be upset about animal cruelty. <laughs> just. Um, yeah, there's, there will be, there will be some healing, obviously, I mean, I don't know that there can ever be enough healing, but there will be some healing. There will be people held accountable. There, there will be progress. There will be peace. It'll take some time. I, I, they can try to squash whatever they want, but or quash whatever they want, but mm, ultimately, I don't think it's going to go so well for them or the people who are responsible. But anyway. All right. 128. Last question. Oh gosh, I'm gonna count. How many questions do I have today? This is exciting. I wonder if I've done it. I wonder if I've done more than more than ever before in one of my live streams. I don't know. Scientists are getting closer to a vaccine for cancer. How awesome would that be? How great would that be? They work by uh, one type would trigger the immune system to pick out cancer cells from normal cells and fight them. There's another potential one that would prevent cancer in high-risk patients. Widespread availability could take years, but experts say their use will become standard practice. Could this happen in our lifetime? Vaccines cancered. The number of cancered, numbers of people that can't just falling like a stone. How great would that be? Medicine is plowing forward. Um, to uh, oh gosh, I'm getting, I'm getting like this. The energy is really good. Two of Pentacles, five of wands. Yeah, they're trials. There's, there's, we're not there yet. Magician. Yes, in our lifetimes. So in a reasonable amount of time, the trials are trials in somebody or a group, this is probably a group somewhere who come up with hope. I agree, Kathy Dillell, ain't science grand. That is wonderful news. Oh, that makes me happy just to look at it. What a great way to end. All right. That's going to do it for me for today. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm here 365 days of the year, and it's 1.47 p.m. here in Chicago at 4 p.m. I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel on YouTube to do uh, four creative sprints. You're always welcome. 
And other than that, I will be right back here tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. And then on Tuesday, I believe I'm starting at 1130 because the next hearing. So we'll take regular questions tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, we'll be uh, watching the hearing together. Okay. And thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for the thumbs up. It really makes a big difference. And I really appreciate it. Your comments, your talking in the chat, everything has helped so much. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know, maybe I'll belatedly do something about the the fourth anniversary of this channel. I remember, I, I will leave with this. I remember when I was trying to figure out what to call it. And I just kept getting black and orange, black and orange, black and orange. And I even tried reading on it, you know, is that the name I'm going to use? And I got this, I got this answer that was like, yeah, like, you're going to use it, but... It might not be the best. It's like, but I just kept coming into my head over and over. So it was like, all right. So yeah, black and orange here on YouTube, the black and orange channel. Colors of Halloween, that's how it got its name. So, all right, thank you everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, you're not alone. We are in this together and there are good days ahead. There really are, all right, hang in there. I'll see you tomorrow.